I've been playing in this band, South Hill, for the last five or six years, and they're all an amazing group of musicians. And along the way, I've, I've sort of managed to find myself in the company of some great songwriters. Initially, the idea for this project came about after watching Martin Scorsese's The Last Waltz, which is a documentation of the band uh, and their final concert they did. I wanted to show off my friends and how great they are, and I also wanted to highlight the amount of great talent that's in this area. I just thought it'd be a great project to bring them all together with one studio band and hopefully make a really great product. Would you come along? Really selfish. It was more about me trying to overcome some creative demons of the old imposter syndrome of not being good enough. As a creative person, I think we all go through those moments of you know those dark nights of the soul where we just feel like there's always someone better than me. You know, I'm not good enough to do this. I don't have the skills. There's always that thing going in the back of your head. For me, it was to try and overcome that and hopefully come up with a body of work that I could sit back after it's done and go, you know what, I can actually do this. and connecting with music was back when I was probably about seven years old. I used to watch Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> my family, we were all creative, so we used to put on concerts for each other. And my auntie turned to me and she was like, you can actually sing. <laughs> and that's my earliest memory of being like, oh, I didn't realize there was a difference between being able to or not being able to. That's where it all kind of started for me. picked up guitar a lot later in life because I wanted to transition into a life where I could do music full time. So I started teaching myself basic things and chords on the guitar and being able to support myself and, and play freely like that has been so good. collaborate with someone else it allows you to dip into things that they hear and I'm always surprised when I collaborate with people because the music goes places I could have never imagined myself. First time I ever heard a blues shuffle, and I just went, wow, it just blew me away. I think if you're passionate enough, you can pretty much do anything you want. 
But you just have to have that drive. Don't listen to what anybody says. And just you got do it. a hurricane by the horns. You can't hold it down. And now your spirit's torn. You walk on shaky ground. Well, I've known Mark Hazlitt for quite a few years now. He's a Tamworth lad as well. And I've been connected with him in one way or another for many years now. And of course, Matty plays drums in South Wall. He just approached me one day and said, look, we're doing this thing. Did you want to come in and do one of his songs? And we'll get South Wall to do the backing and get Hazzy to sing some harmonies. And yeah, that was great. You got a hurricane by the horns, can't hold it down. And now your spirit's torn, you walk on shaky ground. band called Starboard Cannons with my friend Matt Bone. We played for seven or eight years and it was quite a successful venture I think but it came to an end a few years ago. I often struggle with collaboration. I really enjoy working alone and for me writing music and writing songs and creating music is quite a therapeutic thing to do. I'm a bit possessive I suppose or protective of, of what I'm creating so when it comes to sharing that or or getting input but I've been pushing myself to do it and I've been co-writing with a few different people and it's working a bit and I'm just still the training wheels are on definitely what I enjoy about playing music is communication that happens and bouncing off people. Yeah, I love watching other people do what they do and I love being there for those decisions that are made. My collaboration with Sarah Tingley is just that. We both went into it not having had much experience with co-writing. Her having had a little bit more than me, she pushed me and we started gently and not necessarily sitting down and saying, let's write a song together, but you know, like she would write some of a song and I'd write the other bit of a song. Between us, we actually managed to, to figure out how to do it because it's, it's, it comes down to your relationship with the person as well. What I think about how a point should be made is not the same as how you think a point should be made. And agreeing on that and agreeing on it creatively is a challenge. Nothing up a sea that faces friend called strolling who stood up to the bar. He offers me another drink and a rattler's car. And I see his smile, but not his grin, and he sees. I see the rain I started playing guitar when I was nine, eight or nine. So kind of at a similar time I started surfing and it removes me from the world around me. Music for me has always been and it's something that I want to I want to encourage a th deeper thought process into the audience. Music that kind of takes you somewhere else and allows you to think differently and think outside the box so that you can conceive the world in a different manner. And it's so, so cold God only knows what truth lies there oh, One of my earliest memories of music probably would have been my brother coming home. I think he would have been in year six or seven. And he came home and was playing this one riff on my dad's old nylon guitar. And that was what I got drawn to. I was just like, I want to learn that riff. So my thoughts on collaboration are a bit mixed. I believe that it is so essential to music. 
as a whole, you know, that, that we do collaborate on every single level, but I find every time that I collaborate with someone else, they put a part of themselves into it. And that's awesome. That develops music further and further. But for me, I find like it moves away from my essence. And so I find it really hard. And that was one of the beautiful things working with Matt on my last few projects. He's managed to nourish my essence and really bring it out. I need to find the people that are gonna nourish what I want rather than pull it into different directions. This is something that's been a long, long forever fight for me is to find a producer and an engineer or whoever that really can help me nourish what I want to create. Because even I'm lost in my own journey sometimes too. That's when like the real, the real beautiful songs come about that I'm really happy with. Mm. So this experience for me has been awesome. Every time I come into these studios, I'm just thinking, oh, what a dream. It's been awesome working with both Nathan and Matt, people that are very competent in the box, but also engineering wise. It's just to come in and it's like, bam, bam, bam. I'm stoked to be able to walk away with some amazing recordings. Do we know when it is time to say goodbye? I actually started when I was 20 and I was doing a marketing degree and I learned three chords and I learned a few Beatles songs and I thought this is pretty good. I started writing more songs than learning songs. Two years later I got a publishing deal with Warner Chapel just through sheer enthusiasm and no idea what I was doing. God bless them if they ever see this but uh, to get the you know advance for the band and, and the band broke up three months later. One of my earliest musical memories was my father playing his favourite record, a Beach Boys record. Put it on the record player, and set it up, and I'm sitting down listening, and, and I heard those crazy harmonies. I just have never heard anything like that before. I think that was a really, just an amazing thing of what you can do with layering voices. Take a piece of our love in I think when you're playing live, that's that real spontaneous possibilities can happen. In the studio, I feel like doles it down a little bit more. You really got to be aware of what works, what doesn't work. I'm a big fan of the concept of the band with all of these great singer-songwriters. I love the idea of getting the backing band who are actually really good on their own ride. I think that when you're working with people that you think that, that they match where you're at or they're going to push you, it's almost a composite of creativity. so powerful because that's what it does. It just brings us together and it, we see each other through it. Human connection. Healthy, honest human connection. Whether it be musically, whether it be with my kids, whether it be with my comrades at SAE, whatever it is, it's just honest human connection. No bullshit, just that. Just that honest, being able to look at someone in the eye and just fucking go, I see you, mate. That's what it's about for me. That
When pot came to the neighborhood, gang fighting went away. <laughs>